It's Jessie the Jeep. She's got a cake. Wow, that looks tasty. But here comes Bandit Bus. He looks mischievous. Oh no, he's eating Jessie's cake. That's not fair at all. Poor Jessie. There's Buster the Bus. And there's Bandit, driving too fast. <sighs> Look, Buster's gone to play with Scout. He's given her a soccer ball as a present. Look at Scout go! Look at that! Diggly is building a colorful tower. But here comes Bandit. I wonder what that awful bully is up to. Oh no! He's knocked over Diggly's tower. Bandit is a menace. Uh-oh, he's seen Scout's ball. <laughs> Bandit is stealing the ball for himself. What a bully. Buster wants to do something. Poor Scout is really upset. Buster wants to help his friend. He's going to stand up to Bandit and get him to give the ball back. I don't think Bandit will listen to Buster. He's going to bully him instead. It's not fair. But wait, Jesse is standing beside Buster. Scout is here to help too. They're all fed up with Bandit being a bully. There's Otis, the police car, enjoying an ice cream. Oops, Bandit has backed into Otis. Otis looks mad. Serves Bandit right, being mean to everyone. <laughs> now Buster, Scout, and Jesse can play soccer in peace. Buster and Mommy Bus are visiting Terry's farm today. <gasps> yeah. Wow, the farm is so cool. Buster is so excited. <laughs> Oh, look! An adorable litter of puppies! How cute! Buster has spotted a soccer ball. He loves soccer. <laughs> Mommy Bus is here to check that all the puppies are healthy. But Buster has other ideas. He wants to go and play some soccer on the farm. <laughs> What was that? Oh. One of the puppies followed Buster outside. <gasps> Looks like she wants to play. <laughs> hmm, but Buster wants to play by himself. <laughs> there she is again. The puppy won't stop following him. <laughs> Buster is throwing the puppy a stick to distract her. That will make her leave. Nope, that didn't work. And now the puppy has taken the soccer ball. What a cheeky little puppy. Aha! Finally Buster got his ball back. But the puppy still wants to play. Stay there, puppy. Buster is hiding behind a stack of hay bales. <gasps> Not again! Maybe Buster can lose the puppy in the cornfield. The puppy is sad she can't find him. But Buster's plan worked. Oh no! How did that puppy get up there? She's going to fall! And Mommy Bus and Terry haven't noticed! Quick, Buster, quick! Go, Buster! Phew! He saved the puppy! That was a close one! Oh! 
Mommy Bus has noticed a puppy is missing. But don't worry, Buster has brought her home. <laughs> what a fun day at the farm! Uh-oh, not again! <laughs> it's a sunny day in the school playground. And Buster and Scout are drawing together. Uh-oh, looks like they both want the blue crayon. Buster snatches it. And now Scout is trying to snatch it back. It's given Buster and Bandit a great idea for a game they can all play together. <laughs> Using their imaginations. <laughs> it's cops and robbers. Buster and Bandit are the robbers. And Ash and Scout are the cops trying to catch them. Off they go. The chase is on. Buster and Bandit are splitting up. Oh no, Bandit is cornered. Aha, he's got a plan. Where has he gone? Hang on a second, that fox is moving. Quick, Ash, you can catch him. He's jumping off that ramp. Go, Buster! I wonder if Buster and Bandit are going to escape. They're all getting very close. Whoa, watch out! Buster and Bandit have driven straight into jail. Hooray for the cops, Scout, and Ash. Time to give up the crayon, Buster. <laughs> that was fantastic. What a brilliant game. Now Scout can finally finish off her drawing. Buster and Bandit are free to go. What a fantastic playtime, everyone! Buster looks so excited. I wonder why. A storybook. Buster wants Mommy to read to him. Buster loves a good fairy tale. Mommy's reading Buster the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. When the bears had gone out, Goldilocks came to the window. She tried their porridge, but the first bowl was too hot. Buster thinks that's very funny. But look at the time. Mommy can't read all day. Buster's upset. He wants to know what happens next in the story. But Mommy knows what to do. Maybe Grandpa can read to Buster? Grandpa is out watering the plants, but Buster wants him to read more of the storybook. Yes, Grandpa can read to him for a bit. He loves stories of great adventures and brave heroes. What's happening now? Goldilocks sits on a chair that's too small, and it breaks. How funny. Buster loves this story. But what's this? Mommy says it's time for dinner. The rest of the story will have to wait. Buster has some nice fish fingers and vegetables for dinner. But he's eating them all really fast. He wants to get back to the story as soon as possible. Hmm, Mommy and Grandpa are still eating. They can't read to him right now. Buster really wants to know what happens next. Look, he's trying to read it himself. He's not very good at reading, but he's trying really hard. Wow, he's getting it. Mommy and Grandpa are so proud of him. Good job, Buster. But, oh dear, he's getting sleepy too. Mommy's reading the book to Buster as a bedtime story. Now Goldilocks is asleep in the bear's bed. Oh, look, Buster has fallen asleep. Aw, he'd had such a busy day, he couldn't stay awake for the end. Good night, Buster. Oh, whoa! It's time for the Christmas talent show. Bandit is going first. He's doing some magic tricks. Good job, Bandit. Aw, Buster looks nervous. I think he's got a bit of stage fright. Poor Buster. There's Scout. It's her turn next. She looks so excited. Oh, cool. She's going to do some juggling. Very good, Scout. 
Oh dear, Buster still looks nervous. <laughs> He's afraid to go on stage in front of all those people. Hooray, Scout's finished her show. Now it's Buster's turn. Aw, but Buster doesn't want to go on stage. <laughs> Mommy's getting worried about Buster. The stage is empty. I think Mommy has an idea. What's this? Mommy's on stage. She's encouraging Buster to come join her. They'll do it together. Here Buster comes. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring, with Buster we sing. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas! Aw, oh, well done, Buster and Mommy. That was beautiful. Buster is having so much fun playing on his drum kit. Oops, there goes a drumstick. It's rolling over to Mommy. Hmm, what's Mommy doing? Oh, she's clearing out all Buster's old toys. The ones he doesn't use anymore. I wonder what's inside. Look, Buster's baby drum. He remembers that. Mommy is going to recycle it so someone else can enjoy it. Buster is sad, but he has a bigger, better drum kit now. But Buster wants to keep his little drum. He doesn't like to let go. Here's Scout with her tambourine. She's come round to play. Hooray! Time to make some music. Buster and Scout are ready to play. And here's Ash, too. He's come to listen. Now Buster and Scout have an audience. They're ready to rock. One, two, three, four. Nice! Buster and Scout are really grooving! Nice work, guys! Scout shakes the tambourine. Buster bangs the drum. Oh, he's trying to play his little drum at the same time. That doesn't work so well. He's trying to do too much at once. Oops! Aw, Ash wants to join in. But he doesn't have an instrument. And Buster has one too many. What's he going to do? Buster is giving his little drum to Ash to play. Now Ash can play along, and all three of them can have fun. Ready? One, two, three, four! There! That sounds even better than before! At the end of the day, Ash is going to give the drum back. But Buster knows he doesn't need two drums. He wants Ash to keep it. Ash is so happy! What a kind thing Buster did. Oh, wow! Buster's become a rocket, and he's going to space! Five, four, three, two, one! Blast off! Look at Buster go! All right! You did it, Buster! You're in outer space! What a cool place to be! I think Buster wants to go space exploring! Look at that! It's a red planet! Let's go in for a closer look! Hey there, little space buddy! I bet that alien has never seen a bus before! Where are you off to now, Buster? Oh, a yellow planet. It's so beautiful with that huge ring around it. Look at that. Buster's gonna go for a drive around the ring. Let's see how fast you can go. Whoa, that was fun. What's Buster seen now? It's a purple planet. Isn't it huge? Whoa, round and round the planets Buster goes. Round the purple planet, the yellow planet, and the red planet. But wait, 
Oh no! A blue planet! Buster's going too fast! I think he's going to hit it! Oh, thank goodness! It was only a dream! You're okay, Buster. Look, Scout is using her telescope to look at the night sky. Take a look, Buster. There's the purple planet, the yellow planet, and the red planet. Hello, little space buddy. Buster and his friends look so excited. What's going on? Oh, wow! Mommy has set up an Easter egg hunt for them. What's that? I think Scout is really excited about having some yummy chocolate. Ready, and go! Everyone's going to look for the Easter eggs. Oops! Try not to bump into each other. Nice! Ash found an egg in that tree. He's rushing back and putting it in the basket so they can all share it later. Good job, Ash! Ooh, I think Buster has seen an egg too. Wait, this is just the wrapping paper. Where's the chocolate egg gone? Buster's disappointed. But look, there's another egg by the bush. Hmm, this one's just wrapping too. Someone has taken the chocolate. Very strange. Oh dear, Ash is worried. They haven't found enough eggs to share around. But it's okay, they'll just have to keep looking. What's this? Another empty bit of wrapping. There's Bandit. He's sneaky. Maybe he's been stealing all the chocolate? He's got some eggs. But look, he's putting them in the basket. It's not Bandit who's stealing them. Look, there goes Scout. She'll know what to do. But wait. Is that chocolate around Scout's mouth? She's the one stealing all the eggs. Look, Scout hid all the eggs she found behind that bush. She loves chocolate so much, she wanted them all to herself. But she's very sorry. She knows sharing is the right thing to do. Buster forgives her, but they'd better clean that chocolate off her face. There, Mommy can share them out equally. Ash, Bandit, Buster, Scout. Everyone gets some yummy Easter eggs. It's Buster's birthday. Mommy and Grandpa are setting up a very special party. Don't eat the food yet, Buster. You've got to wait until your guests arrive. Oh, look, here they are. It's Scout, Ash, and Bandit. Everyone's so excited for the party. What's Bandit up to? Hmm, that cake looks yummy. Not yet, Bandit. First, we're playing party games. They're playing musical statues. They have to dance until the music stops. Great move, Scout. And freeze. Oh no, Scout is losing balance. And so is Buster. They are out of the game. It's only Bandit and Ash left. And dance. Bandit is losing balance. Oh no! He knocked Ash over so he could win. And now Ash is out of the game. But Grandpa didn't see Bandit cheating. Hmm, that wasn't very nice, Bandit. Now they're playing Pass the Parcel. They pass the present, and when the music stops, they can take off the wrapping paper. Oh. Hooray for Ash! <gasps> Bandit has cheated again! He took the parcel after the music stopped. <laughs> Poor Ash! Bandit isn't playing very fair. Buster is telling Bandit that he's making Ash feel upset. He needs to think about how his actions affect the feelings of others. It's time for some birthday cake. Blow out the candles. Go, Buster. What a feast. All the delicious food has been eaten. Well, almost. 
Don't worry, Ash. Have some birthday cake. Bandit feels really bad for making Ash sad. Bandit is really sorry and gives Ash his ball back. Whoa. It's okay, Bandit. Ash forgives you. But remember, it's not all about the winning. It's about having fun together. Buster's kindness saved the party. Happy birthday, Buster. Hey, Buster. Looks like another day to have fun. Oh, no! It's Bandit the bus. Buster, watch out! You will crash! Wait, what's happening? Oh, wow! You're floating in the air! This is incredible, Buster! I wonder if you can fly! Oh, wow! You've turned into a superhero! You are so fast! Super Buster is here! Woohoo! What has Buster seen? It's Otis the police car. I wonder what Otis is looking for inside the tunnel. Wait, it's Bandit the bus. What is he up to? This doesn't look good. Oh no! He's pushed the boulder over the edge and trapped Otis in the tunnel. You've got to save him, Buster. You can't let Bandit the bus get away with this. That boulder looks very heavy. It's okay, Buster. You're a superhero now. You can save him. Oh, Buster, your eyes. Wow, you have laser vision. Well done, Buster. You've set Otis free. Now let's catch that naughty bandit bus. There's Bandit. Looks like he's up to no good again. Scout, watch out. Poor Scout. Look who it is. You're in trouble now. Super Buster is here. Buster, you can stop him. <laughs> Super Buster is too strong for Bandit. That should stop him. <sighs> now Buster just needs to help Scout out of the pond. <laughs> Look at Bandit. He's stuck now. Oh, it was all just a daydream. I don't think the teacher is very happy. It's Christmas Eve. Buster is so excited, he can barely stay still. He can't wait for Christmas Day. Daddy has a Christmas cracker for Buster. Who's going to win? Pull, Buster! Whoa! Well done, Daddy! But now it's time for bed, or else Santa won't come. Look, Buster's dreaming about the presents. He hopes his present will be the biggest present ever. It's Christmas Day, and Buster and Daddy are going to Mommy's house. Buster can't wait! Buster's so excited to see the presents, he's rushing! Buster is wondering, where is his present? This one is for Mommy. Daddy's present. One for Grandpa. Is the small one for him? Buster is a bit disappointed. Oops! The labels have come off! Oh no! Buster doesn't know whose present is whose! Buster hopes the labels are on the right presents. It's time to open the presents. <laughs> Mommy, Grandpa, and Daddy roll up to find Buster sneaking a look at the presents. Grandpa has some weights. That doesn't seem right. Mommy has some glasses, but Mommy can't see with them. And Daddy has a stethoscope. That doesn't seem right either. Oh no, the presents got mixed up. Nobody has the right presents. Hmm, maybe Buster can work out which present belongs to who. The weights must be for Daddy. He's really strong. And the stethoscope is for Mommy, because she's a vet. 
And the glasses are for Grandpa. Good job, Buster. It's just Buster's small present left. What is inside? Oh, a camera! Buster loves it! He's going to take a selfie with his family. Merry Christmas, Buster. You're looking very cheerful today, Buster. What's that you've seen? Oh, wow! A kitten! It's adorable! Careful, Buster. You're really big, and the cat is really small. Oh, dear. I think you scared her, Buster. I wonder where she's going. You're too big to go under the fence, Buster. You'll have to go around. Where's that kitten gotten to? Uh-oh! She's stuck up in that tall tree. You've got to rescue her, Buster. A trampoline? What a good idea! That'll be a nice soft landing for the kitten. Bounce? Oh no! The kitten bounced right the way back up into the tree. Let's try something else. A net? Good idea, Buster. Careful now. Gently. Gently. Oh, look, a bee! Stay still, Buster. I don't think he means any harm, but... Oh, dear. The net is broken, too. Back to the drawing board. Hold on. I think Buster has another idea. Of course! Buster's brought Ashley the fire truck. She'll be able to reach the kitten with her tall ladder. There we go. <laughs> the kitten will be safe now. Oh no, I think the kitten is too scared to come down the ladder. I wonder what Buster has planned. Oh yes, the kitten's ball of wool. She'll come down to play with that. Look how happy the kitten is. Here she comes down the ladder. There, safe and sound. Nice work, Buster. Hey there, Buster. Looks like a hot day out in the desert. Whoa, look at that ahead. A big mountain with smoke rising from the top. What was that? It's Frida the sports car. She's speeding off toward the smoky mountain. I think she wants to race. Buster and Rita are speeding across the desert together. Rita is faster. Go on, Buster, you can do it. Buster is using that ramp to jump after Rita. Phew, that was a fun race to the top. But look, what's that? Hot molten lava? I think this is a volcano. It could erupt at any moment. Uh-oh, Buster, careful of that rock. Oh no, it's fallen into the lava. Phew, nothing happened. Oh no! I think the volcano is erupting! Quick, guys, get out of there! Oh no! There are fireballs shooting out of the volcano! Look out! They'll be really hot! Oh no! Rita is stuck in the sand! Buster is being brave and going to help his new friend. Great job, Buster! Now quickly, drive away! Faster! Faster! Phew! That was a close one! Here's Ashley the fire truck. She doesn't look pleased. She's going to have to put out all the fire. Buster and Rita aren't saying anything. They didn't mean to set the volcano off. That was close, but Buster made a brand new friend along the way. Bye, Buster. Bye, Rita. It looks like you're all covered in mud. You had a lot of fun splashing through those muddy puddles. It looks like Buster might need a wash. I'm not sure if he thinks so. Here comes the city bus. Oh, dear. He doesn't look very impressed at how dirty Buster is. It looks like Buster has finally realized just how messy he looks. That's right, Buster. You're covered in mud. Is that a sign for a car wash? 
Great idea, Buster. Off he goes to the car wash to clean himself up. Oh, poor Buster. He's too scared to go inside. It does look very scary, doesn't it? Go on, Buster. You can do it. You need to get clean. You're so dirty. He's going for it. Buster is being very brave indeed. One, two, three. Oh no, you were so close, Buster. Oh, he sounds very impatient. Buster, take a deep breath. You can do it. Huh? But the sounds are so scary. Go on, Buster, you can do it. You're almost there. Ready, set, go! <laughs> You're doing it, Buster! It tickles. That's not so bad, is it? And out he comes! There, that wasn't so bad, was it, Buster? All sparkly and clean. Looking good. Wow, well done, Buster. Nice and clean. That car wash wasn't so scary Buster, after all. Scout, Bandit, and Ash are having a race. Buster and Bandit are neck and neck. But Scout's dashed into the lead. Whoosh! Scout won! Nice work, Scout. She really is super speedy. What's that noise? Thunder? Oh no, it's a storm! They should take cover or they'll get all wet. Whoa, that was close! Ash nearly skidded into his friends on the wet grass. Wait a minute, that gives Buster an idea. Whoosh! <laughs> Skidding through those muddy puddles is great fun! They could play a game, see who can skid the furthest. What a great idea! Bandit is going first. Swish! He skidded all the way over there! But Scout thinks she can do better. Vroom! Whoa! Scout went even further than Bandit! Now it's Ash's turn. He's so little, he's spinning round and round. He's all dizzy, but he's gone the furthest yet. Last up, it's Buster. Whoosh! Uh-oh, he's getting out of control. Whoa! Oops! Buster splashed Mommy with mud. Looks like it's time for all the little vehicles to get back home. They're back at Buster's house in no time. But wait, they can't go inside until they're all cleaned up. Mommy's going to use the hose to wash all the mud off. Splish splash! And there, now all four of them are clean again. But even so, that skidding race was so much fun. Buster, Ash, and Mira are playing hide-and-seek tag in the soft play area. There's Buster hiding in the ball pit. Ash has found him. Now Ash is trying to tag Buster. Quick, Buster, Ash is right behind you. Oops, looks like you found Mira. Tag, well done, Ash, you got him. There's Daddy Bus. He says it's time to go. But Buster, Ash, and Amira don't want to leave yet. Looks like they have a plan. Run! And the game is on. Daddy Bus is trying to catch Buster, but Buster is too quick. Almost. Oh no! Daddy Bus has crashed into the ball pit. It's the perfect time to find somewhere to hide. Where should they go? Mira has found a place behind the play blocks. Buster has seen a space behind the slide. But Ash is already there. Quick, Buster, quick! Daddy Bus is back on the hunt for them. Now where is Buster? There he is! But Daddy Bus hasn't seen him yet. Daddy Bus spots some wheels by the play blocks. Hmm, who could it be? It's Mira! 
Well found, <laughs> Daddy Bus. Now where could the others be? What was that moving behind the slide? Boo! There's Ash! But where's Buster? There he is, hiding behind the tunnel. Looks like he has an idea to distract Daddy Bus. <gasps> What's that? A bouncy ball. Daddy Bus is going to investigate. Now Buster can find a new hiding spot. That's very sneaky. Maybe Buster can use that trampoline to help him hide. Hmm, Daddy Bus still can't find Buster anywhere. He's found a new hiding spot in the ball pit. Oh well, Daddy Bus, Ash, and Mira decide that it's time to go. Oh no, did they leave without Buster? Boo, we found you. That was very sneaky. Well done, guys. Now it's really time to go. What a fun day! Buster and Grandpa are visiting the Christmas Winter Wonderland. Look at all the amazing stalls. Wow, Buster really wants to win that teddy bear. He's asking Grandpa if they can play. They get three throws to knock down the cans. Oops, Buster missed. Oh dear, that's all three of his throws. He's having another go. Oh no, he missed again. Buster's upset, but I think Grandpa can teach Buster a thing or two about throwing. The key to hitting what you aim at is to take your time. First, you take a big, long breath. Then take aim, crouch low, and throw. Whoa, Grandpa hit the cans. Now it's Buster's turn. A big, long breath. Take aim, crouch low, and throw! Hooray! <laughs> nice shot, Buster! Now, time to go win that teddy bear. Oh dear, Buster didn't take his time. He needs to take a big, long breath, take aim, crouch low, and throw! Hooray! Buster did it! Well done, Buster! And here's his prize! Buster's so proud of himself! It's a sunny day at Buster's house. And Buster and Grandpa are having a great time playing together. Mommy Bus is off to work. Will Buster and Grandpa be able to make dinner together? Whoa! Some real cooking! Buster is very excited. Let's cook! Grandpa sets up the stove. Hmm, but what comes next? Buster has an idea. It's chocolate sauce. Hmm, Grandpa doesn't think that's quite right for dinner. Let's take a look at the recipe. They've gathered all the ingredients together. Buster starts by adding some flour to the bowl. Whoa, easy there, Buster. Oops, the flour has gone everywhere. Now Grandpa and Buster are covered in flour. Buster is adding the finishing touches to the mixture. Careful the mixture doesn't go everywhere. Great job, Buster. Oops, Grandpa's tomato sauce has splattered all over the floor. And what's going on at the stove? The pot is bubbling over. Oh look, it steamed up his glasses and now he can't see where he's going. Watch out, Grandpa. Oh dear, this isn't going very well. Grandpa and Buster are clearing up the mess. But Mommy Bus is coming home from work. Uh-oh, they still haven't made dinner. What are they going to do? 
Grandpa gets some fish fingers out of the freezer. Aha! This gives Buster an idea. Time for chocolate sauce. Mommy Bus is wondering what Buster and Grandpa have made for dinner, just as they're finishing up. I wonder what they've cooked. It's fish fingers and green beans. And chocolate sauce. Are you sure about this, Buster? He gives it a try. Hmm, delicious! Mommy also gives it a try. And it's surprisingly tasty. Well done, Buster. Ah, oh, what a beautiful day it is today. I think Buster is feeling a little hot. Hey, look, Scout has the right idea. An ice cream will cool you down, Buster. And it looks delicious. Do you hear that, Buster? It sounds like Iggy, the ice cream van. Hey there, Iggy. Buster wants an ice cream. Look at all the different flavors. Chocolate chip, vanilla sprinkles, triple towered scoop, raspberry swirl, strawberry and vanilla with chocolate sauce. Looks like Buster has made his choice. Wow, thanks, Iggy. Oh, that was quick, Buster. You enjoyed that, didn't you? Another one already? Oh, hey, Digger. He's joined the queue for an ice cream. Another ice cream coming right up. Buster, you really want a third ice cream? You're not the only one who wants ice cream, Buster. Mmm, yummy. A vanilla with a chocolate flake. The queue is getting bigger. And Buster wants a fourth ice cream. Yummy, this one has a cherry on top. Okay now, Buster, I think you've had enough. Digger and Billy are waiting patiently for their ice cream, and you are being greedy. Looks like Iggy has had enough of Buster's behavior. Ha, <laughs> you want more ice cream, Buster? Here you go. Ha, <laughs> look, it's Buster the ice cream. It's definitely still missing some toppings, though. A tasty chocolate flake and a cherry. Yummy. <laughs> that has definitely cooled Buster down. <laughs> Billy is enjoying that cherry. And Digger is tucking into a big scoop off the top. This Buster ice cream is really tasty. I'm sure Buster will think twice before he's greedy again. Thanks, Iggy, for some wonderful tasty ice cream. Ice cream really is as good as it looks. It's time for the annual nature race, which Daddy Bus has organized. This is going to be so much fun! Ash and Buster are going to work together. They need to race through the woods as fast as they can. And the first one back gets the shiny trophy. Get set, go, go, go! Bandit has overtaken Buster and Dash. He really wants to win. What is he up to? <gasps> He's changed the sign. So Buster and Ash are going the wrong way. Oh no. <laughs> huh? There's no more path. This can't be right. And what's that? A huge tire print. Ash thinks it must be a monster. <laughs> nope, don't worry, Ash. Monsters aren't real. Uh-oh, I think they're lost. But they need to keep going. They're slowing down. Oh, dear. They're stuck in the mud. What are they going to do? <gasps> what is that? It sounds like a m monster. Ha! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Don't worry. It's just a monster truck. And they're very friendly. She's pulling Ash out of the mud. Wow, she's strong. And now it's Buster's turn. <laughs> this monster truck is called Mira. She's lost too, just like them. Buster says they can work as a team. There's Naughty Bandit. He's almost at the finish line. But look, Buster and his friends are ahead. They ended up taking a shortcut. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Hooray! Mira won the race. But she couldn't have done it without her new friends. And she's won the trophy. Yippee! But Mira feels sad for Bandit being on his own. She knows what that feels like. Bandit feels bad for cheating in the big race. <laughs> Don't worry, Bandit. There's no need to cheat when you have friends by your side. And it's always fun to make new friends. Buster is excited to spend the day with Grandpa. And Grandpa's looking at a beautiful cake. Grandpa has an idea. They should bake the cake together. Buster and Grandpa have come to the supermarket to get the ingredients. Flour, eggs, milk, and icing sugar. Boop! Who's that? It's Mira! Along with Terry. Buster rushes to get the ingredients. But Grandpa warns him not to be hasty. Buster's looking for flour. Bingo! He's found it! And so has Mira. Uh-oh. Looks like they've got the same list of ingredients. Whoa! They both want the same bag. Oops! Mira and Buster are in the race to find out who gets all the ingredients first. Buster's come to get the milk. He got it first! Off he goes, Mira! Whoops! Mira, you spooked the teacher! <laughs> she grabbed some milk, too. Slow down, you guys! Whoa! It's Grandpa and Terry! Both of them move very slowly. <laughs> you sure are smart and sly, Buster. Off they go again. Oh, look! There are the eggs! Oh, no! Buster dropped the eggs! And... Mira spotted the last bag of icing sugar. Mira sprints off to get it. But, oh no! Mira lost balance and crashed into the shelf! Buster grabs the last bag of icing sugar. But Mira's upset. Buster offers her the icing sugar. And she wants him to have it. Grandpa and Terry are surprised to see Mira in a mess. Buster's got a plan. Aw, looks like Buster and Mira shared the icing sugar to bake one big cake. The cake tastes delicious. Great teamwork, Mira and Buster. It's a brand new snowy day. And Buster can't wait to go outside and play. It's so much fun to play in the snow. And the best game of all is a snowball fight. Diggly and Scout are on one team, but Buster needs a teammate. Look, there's Bandit. He can be on Buster's team, though Buster and Bandit don't always get along. Time to start throwing snowballs. Buster and Bandit are hiding behind that hill. Hmm. Buster thinks they should go this way. But Bandit thinks they should go that way. Oh dear. They can't agree. They're not working together as a team. Buster is sneaking through the trees. But Scout has spotted him. Look out! Oh dear. Bandit is trying to sneak behind the fence. 
<laughs> Buster and Bandit aren't doing very well. But look, Scout and Diggly are working together. <gasps> That's it! If Buster and Bandit want to win, they'll need to work together like a team. <laughs> Whoosh! Off they go! <laughs> That's more like it! Now it's a real fun snowball fight! It's much better with teamwork! <laughs> Who threw that snowball? <gasps> Grandpa! The more players, the more fun it is! It's fall. And Buster the Bus and his friends are outside playing. <laughs> Look at all the leaves falling off the trees. What's this? I think Scout has an idea for a game. Oh, Scout wants to play hide and seek. What a great idea! You count, Buster, whilst everybody else goes and hides. <laughs> Tony the truck is hiding in the barn. Jesse the Jeep is hiding under that box. Diggly the digger is going to dig a hole behind those bushes. Quick, Scout, you need to find somewhere to hide before Buster is done counting. But where? Three, two, one. Coming, ready or not. Where is everyone? Buster's going to seek. Is anyone hiding in that barn? Yes! You found Tony the truck, Buster. What about these boxes? Is anyone hiding here? I guess not. Wait a minute! Is that box following you, Buster? That must mean... Yes, you found Jesse the Jeep! Good job! What about those bushes? Anyone hiding there? Look, there's Robin! <gasps> Did you see that? I wonder if... That's right! You found Diggly the Digger! Hooray! That just leaves Scout! I wonder where she could be hiding. Wait, did you notice something funny about that pile of leaves? There, Scout! Well done, Buster! You found all of your friends' hiding places! Wasn't that fun? Hey there, Buster! That's a great-looking shark poster oh. you've got there. Oh, Buster's looking really tired. I wonder what he'll dream about. What's this? Fins? Coral? Oh, wow, Buster! I think you're under the sea! Look at Buster go! The ocean is his new playground. Isn't it beautiful? Go for it, Buster! Jump into the sky! This is so much fun! Wait, what's that? It's a huge fish! Quick, Buster, hide! Oh, look! He's not big at all! He's tiny! It's okay, Buster! Nothing to worry about! But what's this? It's Sham the Shark! Look at all those sharp teeth! Hide, Buster! Quit! Oh, no! Buster has spun around the little fish, and now he's heading right for the shark. Sham the shark seems very keen to make friends, but it looks like everyone is scared of him. Quick, little fish, hide next to Buster. Wait a minute, the shark looks sad. Really sad. You know, Buster, I think that Sham is lonely. He was just being friendly. He doesn't have any friends. That's right, Buster. Go and say hello to him. See? He just wants someone to play with. Buster and Sham are having so much fun. The ocean is a great place to play chase and to make new friends. Look at them go. Oh, Buster's waking up. It was only a dream. You don't have any fins now, Buster. You're back to being a bus again. What a lovely underwater adventure. <laughs> Buster is packing his bag for Ash's birthday picnic. He will need a picnic blanket, something to drink, 
<laughs> what else does Buster need? Marshmallows to toast on the fire! Thanks, Daddy Bus! Don't forget Ash's present! Buster is so excited to celebrate Ash's birthday! What's wrong, Buster? He looks a bit unwell. He really doesn't want to miss the party. Buster and Daddy have arrived. Time to play some party games together. Hmm, Buster really doesn't look well. But he doesn't want to miss out on the fun. They're playing hide and seek. Oh no, Buster is feeling really poorly. Maybe sitting by the fire will make him feel better? His friends are worried about him and want to make sure he's okay. Maybe some marshmallows will make him feel better. He can't even eat toasted marshmallows! Daddy Bus is taking Buster home to rest. But he can't forget Ash's birthday present. What is it? It's a painting set! That's very thoughtful, Buster! It's given Ash an idea! He's passing a paintbrush to Bandit and Scout! I wonder what they're going to paint! Buster is resting at home. He isn't his usual happy self. He needs to take his medicine and get some sleep to feel better. Well done, Buster. The next day, Buster is feeling a bit better now. But he's still sad he missed Ash's birthday. Daddy Bus has got Buster some warm soup. And what's that? His friends made a painting for him. And they're outside! Hooray! Buster is so happy to see his friends. And the painting has made him feel much better. Buster and his friends are at school. And today, they have a very special visitor. It's Mommy Fire Truck! Hooray! She's here to show them what a fire truck does. When a building is on fire, you have to call a firefighter as quick as you can. What happens next? A hose is attached to a water hydrant and the water puts out the fire! Yippee! It's time to practice. They have to knock the cones over with a jet of water. Ash is first. Yay! Well done, Ash! And Scout? Oops! That's better. Well done! <laughs> now it's Buster's turn. <laughs> wow! Watch out, Buster! <laughs> that was a great day. But now Mommy Fire Truck needs to get to work. <laughs> Goodbye, Mommy Fire Truck. Thank you! Now it's the end of the day, and Buster is heading home. Bye, Scout. Bye, Ash. <laughs> <gasps> what is that? It's smoke. Where could it be coming from? <gasps> oh no, it's a fire! What should Buster do? He needs a firefighter. Buster is getting Mommy Fire Truck to help. <gasps> Teacher will take care of Ash. Go, Mommy, go! There's the fire! Aha! 
And there's a water hydrant. Next step, attach the hose. Oh no, quick! Phew! The fire is out! Yippee! What great teamwork! It's the next day at school. Teacher is calling Buster up to the front. What could it be for? Look! Mommy fire truck! She's here to thank Buster for all his help and award him with a special fire truck hat. Go, Buster! It's Halloween, and Buster is at Daddy's house. Oh, but Halloween can be scary. Daddy Bus has an idea. He's going to tell a Halloween story. Daddy's going to tell a story of the brave wizard's adventure to find the magic gems and save Halloween. Buster the brave wizard went on an adventure. He had to find all the magic gems. There must be gems in that castle. They're guarded by a monster. This wizard must be very brave, Dad. The wizard was the bravest of all, Buster! <laughs> the hero presses on through the dark woods towards the castle. <laughs> Something stirs in the darkness up ahead in the forest. What is it, Dad? A werewolf? A ghost? A were-ghost! The mysterious shadow grows larger. Is it the monster? found a jewel. Well done! <laughs> Finally, the wizard reached the mysterious castle. There must be more gems inside, huh? but how to get there? <laughs> he needs to lower the drawbridge, but how? The wizard could use his magic! <laughs> Good idea! The brave adventurer pushed forward inside the castle walls. Onward, into the oh. castle. How brave the wizard is. Ah! What will our hero do? Run ah. or continue? Continue, continue. Ooh. The wizard has to find the treasure and save Halloween. <laughs> but what's that behind them? It's the monster. Ah! If the <gasps> wizard wants to get those magic jewels, he'll need to get past it. Wait, Daddy. The monster must be really lonely. Oh, I suppose so, yes. The monster is lonely. Maybe the wizard should help the monster. He needs a friend. And so the brave wizard rolled up and used his magic to make the castle all warm and bright. <laughs> the monster is you, Dad. <laughs> the monster was so grateful he gave the wizard all the magic jewels. So brave Buster <laughs> saved Halloween for everyone. Hey there, Buster. Oh wow, a soccer ball. Ooh. Look, it's Scout. She wants to play. <laughs> Great kick, Buster. <laughs> nice one, Scout. <laughs> Who's that driving down the road? It's Tony the truck. <gasps> Ooh. Oh no, Buster. <clears throat> Be careful where you kick the ball. Watch out Ooh. for Tony. Ouch, that must have hurt. Ooh. I hope Tony is okay. <gasps> Buster, you have to be more careful. Watch out for that pin. Oh no, it's punctured Buster's tire. Look, Scout, Tony the truck needs help. I know who we need. Oh, Yay, Amber the ambulance. Good job, Scout. It sure is an eventful day. I hope you feel better soon, Tony. Oh, Buster, that sure looks painful. Don't worry now, it was only an accident. Tony is in safe hands, and Amber will come back shortly. Buster, look, it's Amber! Let's get you fixed. 
Off to the garage, Buster goes. Uh huh. Oh wow, Tony looks Ooh. great. <laughs> Buster's getting a new tire. All fixed. Mm. Uh -huh. Oh, Buster, wow. accidents happen. Be more careful next time. <laughs> Great kick, Buster. <laughs> oh, no, not again. Buster is being more careful. Look huh? left, look huh? right. Now that's more like it. <laughs> well done, Buster. Over here, Buster. <laughs> 